Jason and Lisa have a typical relationship. Typically, you know, guys tend to not tell their girlfriends the truth. And what harmless little secret was Jason keeping? We dated for two months before I found out he was married. After they go on separate blind dates. Well, he's a snappy dresser. She's cute. And a baby way. And nobody keeps any secrets. David was looking down my pants to see what kind of underwear I was wearing. Will these two stay together or have a change of heart? Hi, I'm Chris Jagger. Welcome to Change of Heart. This is a show where couples who've reached a crossroads in their relationship voluntarily go on one blind date with someone new. We're going to meet their dates later, but first, let's meet our couple. Mutual friends introduced them, and now they've formed their own special bond of romance for the past six months. Please welcome Lisa Hundemer and Jason Scott. Yeah! Welcome to Change of Heart. Thank you. You know, your relationship, like a lot, run hot and cold, so that's one of those situations that we're going to be dealing with here as we talk. But Lisa, we're going to start with you. What's the most unique thing about your man that you can tell us? Jason can speak four different languages to me. And he's also extremely intelligent, very bright, and I need that. Um, and he speaks French, which turns me on, so he does that. Oh, wow. That is that love talk. Yeah, very good, very good. And Jason, what do you like best about Lisa? Um, I, I love that Lisa's older than me. She's four years older, and uh, it, brings, it, brings, it, it brings really interesting experience to the relationship. Uh -huh. Very. Okay, well, that's good. What, Lisa, tell us if you're happy the way Jason treats you in the relationship. No, I'm not. Um, he does. He never calls me his girlfriend ever. Like when we go out, he'll well, introduce me. No, it, wait, wait, wait. I just he'll, don't say that. I mean, he doesn't use the G word. No, right. he'll introduce. He'll go, hey. Have you guys met Lisa or? My you friend. guys remember Lisa, my friend? I always say, this is Jason, my boyfriend. Oh, you won't use the word no. girlfriend. Give us one word that you could use to describe Lisa. She's demanding. Demanding. Yeah. It, she, uh, I, I work a lot, and uh, I don't have very he much time to spend with her. all the time? So. Uh, no, he has time for his friends. No, no, no. I spend time with her and my friends. I, uh, yeah, she knew about me it before. and his friends. Never just me. He can't, like, exclude the friends for once and just have me. All right, Jason, when you do spend time with Lisa, do you have good conversations? Do you have good times? No. She no. likes to talk about <laughs> sex. We, we talk about sex all I the time. Like she has a preoccupation with sex. Sounds, Jason, I don't see the audience doesn't think there's yeah, a problem, the problem there. Yeah, the girl liking Oh, okay, okay. So <laughs> we'll go out to dinner, and uh, the the server will come to the table, maybe serve us coffee. And something about the way the server set the coffee cup down on the table is extremely sexy. And sexy, then, not and then, sex. I mean, yeah, not oh, wanting to have sex with the coffee server. It's what? that he's sexy. Is he fairly open with you though, with everything else? No, not at all. Do you know we dated for two months before I found out he was married? Before. Not what we were dating, what before. No, well, no but he's, still. he's divorced. Okay, it took um, two months to find that out. That's yeah. a little odd. Two well, months. I and then also he proposed to another woman. Oh. And you never knew about out. that. Never knew. Well, wait, these aren't selling items. Hi. No. Guess what I was married. You want to go out with me? A lot of secrets. There's a lot. To, I don't know about his high school. Don't know about prom. Don't know about his family. Too. All right, Jason. Besides sex and all your secrets, what do you guys talk about? What does Lisa like to talk about? Um, Lisa likes to talk about her weight problem. Do, does she look like weight she has a weight problem? problem? No, I mean, she's, she will go out, she'll eat her food, the bread, my food, and then talk about how fat she is. Oh, that's and I'm so always cool. like, <laughs> and I'm, First I'm of a, all, he's a vegetarian, so I eat meat, so I don't even touch his food. He's uh -huh. so full of it on that. Second of all, every woman talks about their weight. That's just like a given. Right, but they'll go to the gym. I go to the gym. Oh. I go to the gym. Uh, yeah, Lisa, has he met your parents? Has Jason no, met? No, he has not met my parents. He refuses they to meet my Texas. parents. They live in Texas. But do they visit? Yes, they've been out here twice. I was working. That is okay. He's quick. No, one time he was working and he went to Vegas to, to meet the Playboy Bunnies, which was cool. It was part of my job. Oh, sure. Now, it's part I, was of my okay, job. I was okay with that because every guy needs to do that. Okay. But yes, second time, do. second time he was he called me 30 minutes before he was supposed to meet us for dinner and canceled. And bailed out on well, you. Said wait, he had to work. Okay, deal, tell us, my Lisa. My job is to deal with emergencies, and, and if an emergency comes up. Uh, I can't. He had an emergency. Yeah. All right, and Lisa, tell us why you decided now was a good time to date, though. Because I wanted to go out with a man who wanted to uh, pay a little bit more attention to me, because Jason doesn't. Okay, I, there's your reason, and I we'll see how that all worked out. Well, it seems that Lisa and Jason have some differences to iron out. When we come back, we're going to meet the people that they went out with, and we're going to find out if they're going to stay together or have a change of heart.
Welcome back to Change of Heart. We're here with Lisa and Jason. Now, they're in an impasse in their relationship, and Lisa says that her ideal man will enjoy meeting her parents and refer to her as his girlfriend. So we matched her up with a guy who's looking for a commitment and is great with parents. Please welcome David Jansen. Hello, David. Good to see you. Thank you. Jason, what do you think of David? Well, he's a snappy dresser. <laughs> you know? Snappy. Okay. I'd be snappy. Very good. It is rather snappy. Uh, David, did you and Lisa have conversations before you uh, got ready to go out? We did. Actually, uh, I called Friday and uh, was trying to, to get a little pre-jump on the date <laughs> and uh, seeing if she wanted to go out he for was. drinks. He and uh, she said that she was tired and that she was already ready for bed and she was in her boxers and a little t-shirt. <laughs> and uh, so we, we, were, uh, we were flirting a little bit. We had a little, and, uh, uh, we had a little uh, you know, bed talk. Uh, so you were, you were giving it right back to him then, Lisa, huh? Yes, I was flirting a little bit. A, um, a lot of it. A lot of it. Let him know that I wear. Jason, does this surprise you at all? No, no. That's oh. her favorite thing to talk about, or flirt, or, you know, sex. Right. Oh. Oh. We talked about you. underwear, t mm -hmm. what I was wearing. All right, and David, then you finally got to meet, and uh, how did you feel we, at that uh, point? Oh, she was very attractive, uh, very cute. She's got a great body. She's got a great body. She's wearing she some uh, nice khaki short or khaki <laughs> pants, little toeless shoes that I could see her toes. She's got some <laughs> very cute toes. And Lisa, was David? Uh, Lisa, was David dressed as snappily for the date? You know, David's dress is very preppy, and um, I actually like—I mean, dress is good, but I actually like the way Jason dresses a little bit. He's more hip. More stylish. Yeah. Yeah, well. uh, Lisa, who planned the date? Who made the arrangements for what you were going to do? David did. He planned everything, which was very cool. Um, we went to San Diego, so he took me outside of L.A. because I haven't been because Jason won't take me, or, nor does he have the time. Well, I'm thinking so, he probably thought he'd take you to see Shamu, and you guys might be able to talk about sex and seafood. <laughs> <stuff. laughs> it wasn't. We didn't even. We didn't even see Shamu. Yeah, we, we, we went to go see the dolphins. We were so busy. Okay. We Straight went to, to the dolphins. Yeah. Now, no, no, the dolphins. Lisa, this is a pretty good ride down there. So you're in the yeah. car for a while. What was that like? Um, you know, we talked a lot about whatever we. We we had something to snack on, so I fed him granolas, so he didn't have to take his hands off. Of it. Um, and then Scotty called. He has a friend, Scotty, who called on David's sailor phone. And the, I, I just remember this because it kind of offended me. When Scotty called, David let him know that he's had sex like three times so far with me. Yeah. Oh. I was just Dave. joking around. But that, but I did. I did laugh. On, and on I the first date? Yeah. Good yeah, that's move, a good man. first impression. Could you tell though she got a little upset or not? Uh, well, actually, she, she no, I laughed. She kind of laughed a little mm. bit, and I mean that's my sense of humor. And I, I just, just wanted to not make any waves. Right. I mean, we were it's, just it's courteous. Going. That was pretty rude, big guy. Well, but actually, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lisa, see, you probably accelerated your chances of getting in there. Lisa, was there you know, more sex talk after that? <laughs> was there more sex talk after that, Lisa? Um, when we got to Sea World, Scotty called again. First of all. At SeaWorld. Wanted to know Scotty, Scotty your boyfriend? <laughs> no, uh, Scotty's, just a, Scotty's just a friend of mine. And, uh, you know, he just wanted to know how things were going. And yeah. so he's just kind of checking in. And well, there, okay, on the way, there was another talk we had, I forgot. On the way to SeaWorld, he brought up skipping SeaWorld, going to a nude beach. No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> you brought that up. She brought I it up, not me. <laughs> you brought that up. That I had nothing so to do the, with it. But we didn't do it because it was well, our first whoever date. Whoever brought up, that's rather bold for a first date. So at least did things get a little bit better as things, uh, the date uh, went along? Well, when we got to SeaWorld, <laughs> we, um, Scotty called, <laughs> see how the date was going. <laughs> so I, you know, Joe Pesci, that's who Scotty sounds like, Joe Pesci. So Scotty calls. So I feel like I'm on a double date here. I have two guys, which, you know, I don't know if I should be complaining. <laughs> Um, and then David got a little flirty at one point, a little fresh. We were looking at the sea line, so he was holding my waist. And when I looked back to look at him, I realized David was looking down my pants to see what kind of underwear I was wearing. <laughs> Explain this one, pal. When we were talking on the phone, she was talking about how she likes to wear G-strings and, uh, and thongs. So I thought I'd just take a, yeah, you know, just take a little peek, so, you know? All right, Lisa, so there you are, you're at SeaWorld, he's trying to sneak a peek, and you had the day there. What else happened? In, <laughs> and it, did you go anywhere else? 
Yeah, actually, he took me to his brother's house. He lives on the military, and we saw the air show, which was very cool because I never get to re get around family because Jason won't take me around his, and he won't meet mine. David, so. talk about past just, relationships on this date. You know, he did. He told me about a few relationships, which was totally cool, so we got to compare notes, talk Not all bit. secretive like Jason's been. Not Jason, at that's all. a little creepy. Not the parents you don't talk about, you'd be married and all that stuff. Yeah, I'd like to know what well, I'm, I'm stepping into. Items, you, know. I, I, you know, I like to bring all the good stuff to the relationship, like I'm a divorcee <laughs> and things like that. So. But this tells me, but you know, if I'm dating someone, so, it tells me where I'm heading. So this was one date with David. What do you think overall? It was a great day. We had a really, really good time. We got along great. Good he took me home, and, hugged me, and, said goodbye. And David, afterwards, after you dropped her off, got the hug and said goodnight, did you call Scotty? Yes, I did. Ah, yeah. see? But I, I, had to, I had to tell him, you know, what she looked like, you know. Oh, I'm sure. And I wish that I had a, a phone that had a video camera on it so I could at least show sure. Scotty how, uh, how she looked. Okay, you and Scotty will be all right. Will David's out-of-town trip give Lisa a change of heart? We'll find out later, but next we're going to meet the woman that Jason dated, and we'll hear what happened on their date. Back to Change of Heart. Uh, we just heard what happened on Lisa's date with David, and now we're going to get to meet the woman that Jason dated. Jason says Lisa's preoccupied with sex and just demands too much of his time. So we set him up with a woman who says there's more to life than sex and is very independent. Please welcome Bianca Velman. Yeah. What do you think of Bianca? She's cute. <laughs> In a baby way. Oh. <laughs> In an incredibly sexy way, depending on how you look at it. Jason, tell us who made plans for your big date. That would uh, be Bianca. She uh, put everything together. I called her up and I asked her what she'd like to do, and she had a plan which was refreshing because Lisa never has any ideas. Oh. <laughs> I'm demanding her. Well, I'm demanding. Well, her so ideas. obviously I have ideas. Yeah, whatever, just, it's know, usually whenever like I want to do it. Is. She is not demanding at all. Lisa is not demanding at all. Not yet, oh, I mean, Bianca. Well, let me ask Bianca if plans went as scheduled. Well, actually, no. Um, we had. <laughs> Whoops. Well, well, we had plans to go out on Saturday during the day, but I got the stomach flu, so. Um, you mean it wasn't him this time? No, it wasn't. Actually, we had a great time, so we just got rescheduled for Monday. So there was a plan B then. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We uh, we got together a couple days later. Um, I I picked her up and. Uh, uh, you didn't ask her to meet you somewhere? No, no, I picked her up. <laughs> no, I picked her actually, up and, no, you picked me up. Yeah. And I, I remember thinking, wow, she's beautiful. She, she looked like Sandra Bullock. <laughs> and uh, the first thing I noticed was she had really perfect lips. <laughs> perfect lips. And Bianca, what did you like the best about Jason when you met? Um, he has sexy eyes and his yeah. lips. Yeah. <laughs> Bianca, exactly. tell us about the place that you well, went. Well, I picked, um, it was a master plan that I picked out for the planet. What we did is we went to this little restaurant in the valley, and we had wine, and we fed each other uh, mussels and bread with sauce. <laughs> Lisa, do you I ever get like the feeding of the granola bar? <laughs> Lisa, do you ever get that treatment? Were you you know, fed? I thought he was a vegetarian. I didn't know he ate mussels, and you know. Oh. Well, he did bring but that, that up. Maybe a be, that might be another secret. No, down but the he line did bring that up though. But he did eat the bread with. All right, Jason. I wanted to have a good time. I didn't want to spoil. I was having. A, I was having fun. I didn't want to spoil. And, then, and, and what was next, Jason, on the plan? Um, sh she took me to a, a really romantic restaurant. One, in fact, that happens to be uh, my favorite. Uh, we, we got there, and things were going pretty good. <laughs> I can't I was, remember his favorite. Yeah, Cade del Sol. And uh, we... Uh... Thank you. <laughs> you okay, Jason? Yeah, I'm okay. Can you take a breath? We'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. All right, you it, got to the restaurant, and it was really nice. I'm... It was really nice. It was, it was great. Uh, dinner was going wonderful. I was a little concerned because Bianca had to go to the bathroom a lot. <laughs> And uh, I, I was afraid maybe I was I was doing bad on the date. Bianca, what was going on there? You're up and well, down from the table. I didn't want to embarrass um, him or anything, but I had the stomach flu and I was starting to get a little sick again. So I'd keep going to the bathroom all the time. Yeah, and then she uh, just wanted to get away from him. No, not at all. No, no, not at all. No, he's great. So um, I had to keep going back and forth to the bathroom. And could you tell Jason was a bit concerned about what was going on? Um, yeah, actually he kept asking me if I was okay. And I was just like, yeah, everything's fine, you know. And it's funny because he kept asking me if I was I was going to come back and see him or not. <laughs> or Lisa, I was like, she could be bulimic? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, eating great. disorder? Come on, Lisa. You know, a little eating disorder. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Well, that, that means that I, that I probably had one, too, because it was like we were taking turns. She'd come back from the bathroom, and I'd run into the bathroom, and I was like, ugh, it was basically pep talks. I was like, okay, you're doing good. It's a good day. She likes it. She likes it. <laughs> wow. There's Jason at the urinal just getting all psyched. I'm like, yeah, I can do this. I'm just wondering, you know, he had a problem with the sex talk, but yet he's talking a lot of, a lot of physical here. They haven't had any really good conversations I've heard of yet. Well, let's see. Jason, was she concerned about her weight? Was, was that a, was no, that a subject? At, well, at, at first I was a little worried about it. Uh, she, uh, in talking, I found out that she was a model. And uh, then when she was eating, she didn't eat very much, but, you know, now I know it was the flu. Yeah, it was the flu. Yeah. I mean, I was sick, and so I didn't want to eat too much because of that. But I'm, I mean, I'm but a healthy I mean, cook, so. Yeah, are you obsessed about that, though? Does no, it... not at all. I cook really well, and so I'm really into healthy eating, and I work out at the gym and things like that. <laughs> I do work out at the gym. Jason just doesn't come with me. Now, between the two of you are spending half the time in the restroom, vice versa, there, could you tell at least Bianca that Jason was having a good time on this date? Oh, absolutely. In fact, he invited me to go out again with his friends. <laughs> With his my, friends. My friends are fun, you know. But Lisa, are you surprised, though? I, I, I introduced her to my that. friends and not keep any secrets. <laughs> but Lisa, well, are then you he'll always Lisa? go with his friends. Yeah, Lisa. because his friends will be have, will be the ones that have to tell you about the secrets. Oh. Jason won't tell you the friends. <laughs> hey, that's what friends are for. Jason. So yeah, exactly. Friends. Jason, let me ask you about the rest of the date. Any other surprises planned for you? Uh, we went uh, to miniature golf after, which was oh. a surprise. I haven't played that since I was uh, young. It was, it was fun. We, uh, I well, won. Putt, putt? Yeah, I, I, I won. I, I tried to lose. I really did. And then I, the best, you didn't let her win? No, well, I, the best part was when I had to show her how to use the golf club. I was thinking she was well, coaching. Right, yeah, coaching. And Jason, did you have your own plan for the end of the date? I, I, I did. Um, I, I was thinking uh, I was going to go for the, the goodnight kiss, but she, she jumped out of the truck like a stunt woman. I was afraid. Wow, I must, I must have some bad breath. I wasn't. Uh, no, I was really sick. Um, so I had to... She must have had some bad breath. I had to get in. So... <laughs> no, I, I, we were... No. We, nah, right, Bianca, if you hadn't been feeling not so well, would you hung in there for Absolutely. a... Absolutely. And okay. I would have definitely hung in but there But there you were, hand over mouth and cheeks squeezed, oh, trying sorry. to get into the house before something terrible yeah, happens. I was waiting, yeah. All right, it's like that sometimes, you know? Uh, well, you Jason and Lisa yeah, have a change of heart. Right. That's the question that's left during the break. They're going to make their decisions. Will they stay together or will they have a change of heart? We'll find out when we come back. All right, welcome back to Change of Heart. Well, here we are at the moment of truth during the break. Lisa and Jason each made a final decision about the future of their relationship, and there's no turning back now. Will they stay together, or have they had a change of heart? Lisa, you came on the show because you wanted to date a guy who would have uh, a lot more time for you, that would pay much more attention to you than Definitely. you were getting from Jason. Somebody that wasn't afraid to call you his girlfriend. <laughs> Somebody that was more open about the past and not so secretive about everything. You had a pretty interesting time with David here, yes, but I did. now it's decision time. Which should it be for you? Well, I had a great time with David. I mean, we had a good time, and um, I definitely enjoyed seeing that I could have a good time with another guy. That mm -hmm. was important to me. Love Jason as my best friend. Um, so this is really difficult, but I decided for myself to go with neither and have a change of heart just to go on my own. <laughs> So, Lisa, you don't want to see David again? All right, David, sorry, things didn't work out friends, there either. Friends on both sides, but now I'm single and I'm just going to... Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Jason? Jason, you said you wanted somebody that wasn't so preoccupied with sex, wasn't preoccupied with or obsessed with their weight, as uh, Lisa was. They wanted less of your time since you are so busy. There you are with Bianca. You had a really nice, uh, fun time there, I guess, in and out of the restroom the whole time. <laughs> But it sounded like it was a fun date. Lisa's had a change of heart. What's your decision? <sighs> Bianca, <laughs> you're incredibly beautiful, and I had the best time on our date. I, uh, I hope we can be friends. Um, Lisa, I adore you. I, uh, I don't think I'm in a place where I can have a commitment. I'm, I'm career-driven. I just don't think I can handle that in my life, so I'm going to have a change of heart. Okay. Change of heart. Jason, I understand you correctly then, that you want to stay single and don't want to go out with Bianca? Right. Okay, Bianca, sorry things didn't work out for you. <laughs> and I guess Jason and Lisa, it's great that you came on the show because you both realized now's not the time for your relationship and that maybe somewhere down the road when you're not so busy and not so crazy in your life, 
it'll be the right time for a relationship for the two of you. Okay, thank you so much for being here. That's our show for today. Good luck to Bianca and David, Lisa and Jason. I'm Chris Jagger. See you next time on Change of Heart. Okay.